Here we go into the studio. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing out there? Oh, man. Hoka Rocket X. First impressions, not my full review. That'll happen after 50 miles. And yes, is it a marathon racing shoe in 2020 and moving forward into 2021? I will answer that question here in a minute. But first of all, two points is that before we dive in, uh, Tuesdays with True Love is going to be uh, bounced to tomorrow. So come back for that update tomorrow. Second, today, Wednesday, October 6th, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time here in Colorado. That's my time in Colorado. We're going live here in the studio. Once again, I'm, I'm bringing my big screen out here. We're going to watch a world record attempt at the 10,000 meters, okay, on the track live from Valencia, Spain. So come back right here. I'm going to watch, give you my thoughts here in the studio, upper right-hand corner for a link to the live stream, and then you can uh, push a button to be notified when I go live. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. Hoka Rocket X uh, first impressions. All right, is it a neutral road racing shoe? It is, but it's kind of rigid, everybody. It's not dancing very much, okay? So it's got a little bit of, I'm gonna say stability built into that midsole. It's not a stable shoe, a stability shoe, just so you know, but it's not dancing as much as I might expect, okay? Uh, five millimeter drop. Now I could not figure out the stack height. I did a lot of research. I couldn't find an accurate stack height for the shoe. So let's pull out the old gauge here and without the sock liner, so that's key to know, without the sock liner, just the footbed, the midsole, and then part of the outsole, but there's not much rubber there. We're looking at, all right, and this is just roughly, obviously this is not a laser. Hold on here. We're looking at roughly, I'm coming in at about 32, 33 millimeters for the stack height in the heel. And I'm not even going to do the forefoot because I can't measure through the, uh, through the upper. And again, that's why we're saving our money for a laser at some point. Moving on to the weight. Here we go. Men's size nine. We're looking at 7.4 ounces or 210 grams. In my size, we are looking at 7.05, basically 7.1 ounces in my size or 200 grams even. And yes, we're going to compare it to the artist. Definitely, you know, I'm going to say a marathon racing shoe. So, all right, 7.1 for the Rocket X from Hoka, 5.7 for the artist from Atreyu. Let's put it up against the Alpha Fly next percent. We're looking at 6.8 ounces in my size. And then the next percent. So that was the Alpha Fly. Here goes the next percent onto the scale. We are looking at 5.8 ounces. Oh my, my. And then just for fun, also let's do the Meta Racer from A6. Oh my, my, six ounces even. And then last but not least, let's just do the uh, Skechers Razor Elite, which again, I'll give you my thoughts on this shoe. I believe after October 13th, once the embargo ends, whoa, 4.9 ounces for the Skechers Razor Elite. That is unbelievable. All right, one more, one more, one more. Audios Pro, Audios Pro, Audios Pro. Ooh, ooh, okay, 7.4 ounces for the Audios Pro, all in my size. Okay, moving on, and there is my score on your screen. Moving on to the upper, we're looking at an open mesh upper, okay, with a pretty stout heel counter. That's that's significantly stout, more stout than let's say the Audios Pro for sure, which you can bend very easily. So that lends itself to a, a much better, I'm gonna say, lockdown feel in the Rocket X compared to some other Carbon fiber plate, I should have mentioned that. This is a carbon fiber plate uh, racing shoe compared to other carbon fiber plates out there on the marketplace. The relationship between the shoelaces and the eyelet chain locking over your midfoot in the Rocket X is mwah, amazing. It just felt so secure, not too much material through the upper. And yes, a winged, yes, it is semi gusseted on that tongue. I almost forgot that. Really, really nice lockdown for the upper on the Rocket X. Oh yeah, and a quick throwback clip to when I was testing this shoe. These were our, th this was my immediate thought as soon as I started running in the Rocket X about two days ago. Pause the studio. I gotta say, breathability scale through the roof. Crazy. Like the, I can feel the breeze on my toes. It's almost too much for these cold temperatures. It's probably about like 45 degrees out right now in Denver. Wow, 
very high breathability. And, and moving on to the midsole, it's a new lightweight EVA. New lightweight EVA, so it's not, uh, yeah, so it's an EVA midsole, okay? But <laughs> on a scientific level, this is where I always wish, you know, kind of that mad scientist approach. What does that mean that it's a lightweight EVA? I'm not sure, let's do the durometer test. Not as um, forgiving, I'll say, or I, it's a little harder to press my thumbs into that midsole compared to some other shoes out there. And let's do this test as well. So a one millimeter carbon fiber plate, all right. There, ooh, oh, interesting. I almost bent it too hard. Interesting, huh. So that was good, okay. So that's got some, okay, I like, so the overall ride and energy return was decent, but not amazing. But I'm, I'm liking the feel of that uh, carbon fiber plate in there. Again, it's one millimeter thick, uh, but coupled with the EVA midsole, I'm a little, the score was not amazing. Basically, the it didn't feel as much of an energy return as I was hoping. But one last point on this midsole, smooth as butter through the foot strike. No complications, I'll just say, compared to the foot strike of the Alpha Fly or the foot strike of even, I don't know. Yeah, I, well, I'll just say the Alpha Fly. Like, it just was very, very smooth ride out there. Uh, but I'm not saying it was a ton of energy return through that midsole foot strike. Onto that outsole, strategically placed rubber. You know, I think it's fine. I, and I think the durability prediction is actually going to be pretty good for this shoe. And I foresee it feels tacky to the touch. So that's nice. I think the shoe would do pretty darn well in wet conditions. So rubber on under the forefoot and some a little bit of rubber under the heel. So overall, I like what they're doing. I think it's, um, yeah, gosh, they, maybe they could minimize a little bit of the rubber through under the forefoot, you know, maybe saving a teeny tiny bit of weight, but overall decent, uh, pretty good score for that outsole pattern. For the fit, no issues, no issues with the width uh, through the midfoot. Um, gosh, if you have an extra wide foot, you know, I would foresee the shoe maybe feeling a little too snug, maybe just a little bit. But again, for racing, I prefer a shoe that feels snug. You don't want to feel any slipping when you're going at faster speeds in a race environment. So I'm okay with the fit, but I foresee that midfoot just maybe being a little on the um, not as wide side. For the comfort, again, solid on the upper, but I am going to compare it. I should have thrown it on the scale. Well, that's all right. We don't, we get we can't weigh every shoe. Compared to the comfort of the New Balance RC Elite, this shoe is going to be a much softer landing on your leg. So if you prefer, this is a great, like, this is it, man. If you're looking for a marathon or half marathon racing shoe moving into 2021, softer landing in the RC Elite versus the Rocket X. Definitely a little more of a firm landing. Um, yeah, and I'm going to say a little more snappy through the Rocket X compared to the New Balance RC elite for my positive and drawback positive is the lockdown just perfect uh drawback is the fact that it is the second heaviest shoe that i have tested in the carbon fiber plate family in 2020 i guess the leader right now is the audios pro as far as the as far as being a little on the heavy side so this guy again coming in at 7.1 ounces in my size is my drawback. Now durability prediction, solid. I'm going 400 plus, okay? So maybe not 500, but definitely 400 plus. I think the outsole is gonna last a long time. And I think the resiliency of that EVA midsole is there. Uh, I suspect that you're, I just think 400 miles, 100%. And compared to, again, compared to some other shoes out there. So how will I use this shoe moving forward? And this gets to the title of the vlog, is it a marathon racing shoe? At this point, I'm gonna say it's not at the top of my list, okay? Could you use it for a marathon? Of course you could, but it's not gonna be at the top of my list. And I think the weight of this shoe, the biggest reason is that EVA, EVA is, uh, is always gonna be a little bit on the heavier side. And this connects to the, uh, the question of the day here in a second. Also, the fact that this heel counter is fairly stout is another reason I think the weight is just a little high, not too much, but just a little bit. So how will I use this shoe moving forward personally? Long runs and long runs that I wanna, you know, just pick up the pace a little bit. I think this is gonna be a great long run shoe for me moving forward. And who is it best for? Um, if you prefer a shoe that, and I'm gonna say like, I don't know, like if you're a, a big strong runner, let's say 220 pounds plus, and you don't, you want a shoe that has a little more resilience and a little more, um, you don't want that midsole to compress 
quite as quickly compared to some other midsoles out there. Boom, again, I just think that this durometer test and I think this, this midsole is gonna last longer than some other carbon fiber plate shoes out there. So overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, but again, I think this is gonna fall a little more in the, in the training category for me versus racing. And moving on to that price point, $180 question mark. I only found one source saying that this Hoka Rocket X is going to be $180. So bear with me. I will continue to research. So the shoe is not for sale yet. At least um, if it is for sale, it's usually it's been sold out already. So it'll, I, I, from what I understand, it sounds like late October, maybe early November for the Hoka Rocket X release day. So stay tuned and I'll continue to take this shoe to 50 miles. But in the meantime, here are the other carbon fiber plate shoes on your screen that I'm testing right now. And that will make it, yes, in the Marathon Racing Shoe Matrix, which is coming down the pike sooner rather than later. Also, uh, what else, what else? Oh yeah, quick specs for the Hoka Rocket X, again, on your screen right now, in case you want uh, just the simple stats if you're arriving through the chapters. Thanks for clicking through. And then last but not least, least this is very interesting the question of the day what are your thoughts on the differences between the feel underfoot between eva foam and let's say zoomax foam from nike okay so this is again really niche down how do you feel different under how does it feel underfoot through your gait cycle through your foot strike um, for those that have tested different, uh, and you know, even like the artist, which I know is not uh, widely, hasn't been widely used yet, but this is a, a form of EVA in this midsole from the Atreyu running company. So I'm just curious, what are your thoughts? And if you want to open it up a little broader, for example, if you have tested out the Audios Pro or maybe even the RC Elite, which all these shoes are listed down below in the description in case you're interested in picking them up. That's the question of the day. First impressions, Hoka Rocket X in the books. Thanks for being, oh my gosh, I didn't even compare it to the Carbon X. Man, so this is like, seven, just so you know, 7.9 ounces, 7.1 ounces. So Hoka is moving in the right direction. Did I put on the screen yet? My final early score for the Rocket X, there it is. I do apologize, almost forgot. 7.9 ounces, 7.1 ounces. I'm gonna say, but I'm going to say a solid improvement from the Carbon X to the Rocket X, 100%. Very exciting. And yeah, I think Hoka is definitely niching down and figuring out their marathon racing shoe game. There you have it. All right. Oh, boy. What are we, where are we going, everybody? Where are we going? We will go to, did I make this yet? The Carbon Fiber Plate uh, playlist. I don't know if I even did. If I did, it'll be there. If not, I'll pick something else. All right, right there, right there. A playlist with all the, I think I did, the carbon fiber plate shoes that I have tested. Oh my my. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.